going to do our opening together, and then you can sing the special opening for your circle. Where the brownies, here's our aim. Lend a hand and play the game. <laughs> Brownies Wednesday. My name is Guider Karen and today we're going to be doing activities for Earth Day. Today we're going to do two activities on the shared planet theme. This is from the program that's available online on the Girls First platform, so make sure to ask your parents how to go online to find even more activities to do at home. This week is also special because it is National Volunteer Week. Do you know what a volunteer is? A volunteer is someone who gives their service but doesn't get paid for it. That means that all the guiders in your unit are volunteers, and this is a special week to say thank you to them. Keep that in mind as we start our next activities. Our first activity is called Needs and Wants Footprints. In this activity, we're going to need something like paper or cardboard to trace your feet on. You can also just draw feet if you prefer. Make sure you have them big enough so that you can write or draw inside the feet. Make sure you label one foot needs and one foot wants. Here's a template. Have you ever heard the expression ecological footprint? Our ecological footprint is the human impact on the earth. In other words, it's how much we're demanding from the earth. Do you think we wanna have a heavy footprint or a light footprint? It's definitely better to not demand too much from the earth. Let's take a look and see how much are we demanding. One trick to help in the environment is to reuse something. So I'm going to reuse this cardboard to trace my footprints. I'm going to cut the cardboard. Look, I'll have two panels perfect for my feet. Now I'm going to trace my feet. I'm going to trace them with a pencil first and then I'll go over them with a the marker. I don't want to get marker on my feet. And there we have it. The words on top are in French. So now let's think about needs. What's something that we need? How about a place to live? You can even draw a little house. What's something that we want, but don't actually need? This could be tough. How about toys? Feel free to pause the video so you have time to do the activity. I'll be waiting here till you come back. How did the activity go? Did you come up with more needs and wants? Wants aren't necessarily a bad thing. Both needs and wants demand from the earth. Another need you probably came up with is food. Food definitely comes from the earth. But all our wants are also made from materials that come from the earth. And some of the wants and some of the needs we have might still leave a pretty bad footprint on the earth. Let's look at both lists to see if there's a better way that we can get those items. Let's look at our needs. One of the needs you probably came up with was food. Where do you get your food? Probably the grocery store. But even at the grocery store, we can make good options that are better for the earth. We can buy items that we can recycle afterwards, like items in cardboard boxes instead of plastic bags. Now let's look at wants. One of the examples I wrote was toys. Where do you get your toys? Maybe you buy new toys at the store. But what about trading toys with a friend? It's still new to you, but you didn't have to go to the store and buy a new toy to have to throw in the garbage later. Or maybe you have toys you don't want to play with anymore. Should they just go in the garbage? Maybe you can give them to a friend so they have a new toy to enjoy. Have a look at all the items you, you wrote and see if there are ways that you can improve. Everybody can improve a little bit. Now it's time for our second activity. 
This activity is revolved around balloons. Balloons are like plastic bottles. They do not decompose well. We should all try to avoid balloons, but they're fun at parties, right? They look pretty and they make it feel festive. So what can we do? I'm going to show you a trick to make something in replace of a balloon. For this activity, you'll need four strips of tissue paper and pipe cleaners. Here's my tissue paper. As you can see, I've added some different colors. It might make it more fun, but it's not necessary. And I have my two pipe cleaners ready. Our first step is going to be folding the tissue paper, like we're making a fan. To do that, you fold once in one direction. Make sure you push down really hard so there's a crease. You might find it easier to flip the paper every time you fold to get your fan shape. Now cut the line in the center so that you have two separate piles. Now we're going to fold our tissue paper in half and cut it. And take, fold the tissue paper and cut the fold. Now we need to fold our tissue paper again like it was a fan. So remember, press, and if it's easier, flip over and press again. Now we're going to put our pipe cleaner around the middle. Now we're going to open up our fans. and separate each layer of tissue paper. Before you open up your fan, you can even cut the edges to round them or make zigzags. Make sure we put our paper scraps in the recycling bin. Open up your fan, and then separate the tissue paper. These decorations are great, and the best part is, is that they can go in the recycling bin when you're done. Or you can even save it and reuse them for another party. What did you think of our second activity? making a decoration. The cool thing about this activity is that you can use old pieces of tissue paper too that maybe you would have just thrown out anyway. This is called upcycling, where you're reusing something again rather than going out and buying more. Can you think of any other ways to upcycle? I'll show you one more that I really liked. I didn't really want to go buy something, so I used this and the other side of an old bed sheet. To make this. Now I have a nice box to put my items in. And I didn't have to buy anything new. I just upcycled. I hope you enjoyed the activities today. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said it was National Volunteer Week? Is there a way that you can thank your guiders that you haven't been able to see for a few weeks? Maybe you can make them a card or draw them a picture. Ask your parents how you can share your creation so that your guiders can feel appreciated. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'm going to sing a special goodbye song because I like that it emphasizes brownies being helpful. I bet your family could really use a helpful brownie right now, and I'm sure the earth can. Happy Earth Day. Where we have been, no one can find, for never a trace we leave behind. Only the people we've helped today know that a brownie has passed this way. Goodbye.